What is up and welcome back to Seton Hill Studios. Today we got a special video priority request from Lena. Lena, thank you so much. We are looking at the legendary Dan Vass. Once again, we are checking out The Last Stand, which is a Sabaton cover. We've uh, reviewed one Sabaton song on the channel so far, and they're a killer band, so I'm super excited. Guys, if you want to support the channel, become a channel member right here on YouTube. If that doesn't work for you, head on over to Patreon, become a member there, or slide on over to Buy Me a Coffee for a one-time donation. Each of these gets you exclusive perks and priority video requests. All right, you know we're big fans of Dan Vask around here, so without further ado, let's get into it. All right, YouTube family, like I said, we are looking at Dan Vask. Dan Vast, man, he's got so many different styles. He can really sing any genre. And like I said, if this is your first time coming to the channel, we've covered him now probably five or six times. So swing back over to uh, some of the other videos and check it out. Lena, thank you so much. It's never expected. Always appreciated. We're looking at the Last Stand Sabaton cover. Let's roll. Dan Vast. He's got a new guitar player with him, it looks like. In the heart of the Holy See, in the home of Christianity, the seat of power is in I like that uh, that view he's doing with uh, both of his layered vocals on the side. That's super cool, man. Dan's bringing it on this one. Y'all know I like more of the rock metal vibe, so I'm amped up. Let's keep rolling. This song is especially epic, even for Dan. Now, I'm not sure. Uh, I know Dan and I think some of his crew arrange his own tunes. I'm not sure if this is an original arrangement or it's more closer to the, the Sabaton actual uh, track. So y'all let me know, man. And that's the thing with Dan. You never know what you're going to get. You just hit play and just see what it is. I don't pre-watch these because I, I like to be as excited, you know, First time listen, a genuine first time listen. He's definitely bringing it on this one. So, so good, man. All right, let's roll. He's doing a lot of that rolling of his tongue in this one, too. I don't know if that's on the original tune or that's something he's kind of adapting.
I'm going to go back to this solo. And when we did the Sabaton song, uh, a lot of people was telling us that they write songs based on actual historical um, like things that taken place in history, whether it be wars or something like that. So y'all shoot down in the comments and let me know what this song is about. Uh, I'm sure there's a cool story behind it. Yeah, man. And Dan, he always brings it. I mean, what more can you say about an artist that reinvents himself? And, you know, that's the thing. If you're an artist and, and I'm, I'm wondering, does he have an original original music out there? Um, or is he playing on a re uh, release in original tunes? Because it's difficult to really adapt your voice to so many different styles. But he always does it seamlessly. And it's always so cool to listen to. This tune's like a war chant, like you're about to go into war. It just gets you amped up. All right, let's roll. For the I like that syncopated part at the end there with the drums. That was super cool. They almost went together on that little feel. That was awesome. I'm going to hear that again. Dude, Dan, man. <laughs> hey, I love checking out Dan. It's always so captivating, man. He always, he, he literally draws you into the song because it's like the way he produces this stuff, uh, especially like cinematically. It's like he literally draws you in. It's so good. And as you see the multiple Dans, I love how he layers those vocals in. It makes them fat, man, and really sound good. Just so awesome. All right, let's keep rolling. <laughs> Let's go, Dan, showing out. I guess those are his patrons. Hey, and he's about to reach 1 million subscribers, which is nuts. So somebody said on here, we're going to throw a party when he does. Man, and that performance was phenomenal. He didn't do too much, and that's a sign of an excellent vocalist or musician. You do exactly what the song requires, and you don't try to overdo it or underdo it. It was a perfect balance, epic tune, epic performance. Hope you all enjoyed that. Thank you all so much for joining me on that one. Another killer performance by Dan. He's undefeated, man. Whatever he does, he brings it, shows out. And this was no different. So epic. Guys, if you haven't, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so when we release more content, you all get it immediately. Thanks for all the love. We appreciate you all so much. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.